Greetings and welcome to the Thursday Afternoon Vodcast Podcast. I've got a package for you. I wasn't about to spit that out because that's not water, but I don't have any water and I was very parched. Kids, if you don't have any water around, alcohol will do just as well. No, it'll do the opposite, as will soda. But I'm not here for a science lesson today, motherfuckers. I just went out to my mailbox and this was in it and I don't know. Wait, I do know what it is. It took me a minute. I'm stupid sometimes. Sometimes I just get dumb. Um... How are all you Billy Bumblers doing out there today? I thought I'd finally nailed that word, but apparently I'm still stumbling over it. But I'll get there. I'll get there. Um, actually, let's unbag this anyway. We're here. You know, this package is there here. Um, my package is here. I'm not going to unbox that, but I wonder how that would uh, help my ratings. Do I have ratings? Do they call them ratings? I guess they don't call them ratings. You know what? I'm not going to open this. I'll tell you what it is. Here's, here's a picture of it. Right there. I actually got this for the boys. My boys love fucking mushrooms. Not fucking mushrooms, but they love mushrooms. And they're going to go this Saturday and to try to find morels. I found morels the other day. You want to know where I found them? Fresh market. Morels are a beautiful mushroom. Have you look at look? This is a morel mushroom. Um, if I can find any pictures of the boys with the ones that they've found, um, it's it's pretty impressive. Like, well, here's some examples. This may not be my boys, or it may be my boys, um, but it's like treasure to them. When they find it, their their faces light up. They're so excited to get back and show whoever they're with, if, you know, whoever's at home who didn't go or whatever, what they found. It's just, and I'm so excited that that over so many other things is the thing that brings joy to their life. Because when you get older and you start wanting things and, and collecting things, and they're not collectors, really. Grayson has those, those tendencies. He has, if you go into his room, he's got an amazing rock collection. But when I was young and I had a rock collection, everything that was from my rock collection was something I found. Um, you know, we went to Ruggles Mine, and we would actually, you know, take a little pics and find stuff. I would find chunks of, like, mica that you could just pull apart and... Um, I think that's why I kind of, I mean, that's not the only reason why I want to get back up North, but, but those memories, like those, those times, New Hampshire to me, um, is one of, one of my favorite States I've ever been to. Um, there's nothing about it that really bums me out. Whenever I'm there, I'm always joyous and in a good mood. I even got lost in the woods there once. Let me tell you that story. And I also want to try this Mike's hot, hard, hard, Sometimes I get off on a tangent and I forget to tell the story that I meant to tell you. So what I wanted to do right now is just take a moment and tell you that story. What story was I going to tell? Shit. Um, Ruggles mine. When I was a kid, happy. Holy shit. Stop. I literally had to stop what I was just doing so I could go back and listen to the recording again because I totally forgot about the story I was going to tell. So let me get to the story before I forget it. Lost in the Woods with Jason Oliveira, Jay Camara, Brad Rigo, and Jacob Martin. The story goes a little something like this. We were camping at, uh, I believe it's Cannon Lake, or right around that area. And we decided to go hiking one day. And... So we headed out. It was like mid-afternoon. It was probably like, maybe not that late. Maybe it was like one or two o'clock. And we made up our, our way up Mount Cannon. I believe it was Mount Cannon. And made it to the top. And it was beautiful. And um, I can't remember what time of year it was, but the sunset was on its way. Like, we could, you know, we could head down right then and there and get back to camp, you know, or we could stay and watch this beautiful sunset from the top of a mountain. That's not something you get to do every day. So needless to say, that that's what we did. Can you guess where this story's going next? We didn't have but one headlamp with all of us. Um, 
And after the sun is gone, you can't really see much in a forest. There's no light. There's no natural light. And, and where we are in New Hampshire, there's very little light pollution. So you're relying on the stars and the moon to get you through complete darkness down an enormous mountain or a big mountain in complete, you know, just in darkness, so in darkness. I can't let go of the darkness. Um, so we, 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 we made decent progress at the beginning. We were getting down as quick as we could because we were getting a little nervous at that point. Um, we still had a little bit of light when we first left, not a ton, but enough that we could haul ass down until we just couldn't see anymore. Then we had to transition over to the headlamp, which worked, but it was still hard because trying to find the path sometimes, there were times where we went a good five minutes and had to turn back because there was just no way to continue the way we were going down, um, or at least no easy way. And so uh, we we made it back, and the funny thing is, is they were reporting uh, to people at the beach where we had, you know, set up our our, our base for the day, uh, that there were a lot of black bear sightings that day on the side of the mountain. And so it wasn't that day that I would come face to face with a black bear. Oh, but it would come. It would come. Check out this video if you want to learn more about that. All right, back to me. I also want to try this Mike's Hot Honey. Um, I don't have anything to put it on in here. So I'll just dip my finger in and lick it off seductively. <laughs> no, I'll just lick it off like I think I'm being seductive. But I am just a terrible loser. Um, balls to my face. What the fuck was I just going to say? Vermont, New Hampshire, maybe even Maine. I'm actually talking to a real estate agent tonight about a house in Maine. It is a double dome house, and it's called the Enchanted Dome. I shit you not. Of course, I'm going to change the name if we end up buying it. But uh, they've been running it as an Airbnb, and it looks like a fancy Airbnb. But they're charging $500 a night. So here's my thought. This seems like an adult smart thing to do. I want to buy this house, and I want to continue running it as Airbnb, and I want to pay someone who lives in Maine a thousand dollars a month to keep it maintained and cleaned and stocked with everything that the Airbnb should do. Now you could do get a discount for a week stay, but a week stay is still $3,000. So let's say I'm able to book three out of the four uh, weeks. You know, you're already looking at six to $9,000, even cutting out the thousand dollars you're paying the gentleman to maintain the property is still making as little as $5,000 a month. Now my mortgage here is not a thousand dollars. And I would assume a mortgage on a house like that is not going to be anywhere near $5,000 a month. So even after paying both our mortgages and all the utilities on both properties, I, I honestly can't think of how that wouldn't work. So I guess it all boils down to, at this given moment, is my cred enough, credit good enough to secure a $100,000 loan or whatever? It's crazy. The, the price of this house is insane, too. It's it's the same price that this house was listed at when we moved here. Um, and we ended up getting it for like 15000 well, kind of $15,000 cheap. We also got <laughs> because the people that owned this house before us had two liens on the house and we had title insurance. I'll stop complaining. Life is good. It, it just sucked <laughs> for a little moment in time. Living to regret is always the better road to take, I think. I'm getting a little little deep here on the on the old cast today. <laughs> All right, let's try this fucking honey. I don't really like honey. Um, I love bees, and I, I protect bees. I never do harm to bees. I try to avoid them, and, you know, they, they really mean us no harm. Like, people get really scared, and I can understand being scared because I'm, I'm allergic to some shit. All right, let's, let's shut the fuck up. Bees are awesome. We need bees, and we should just just be nice to every living creature. Is it that hard to ask? Like, that seems like common sense. Let's all just be nice to one another. Okay. Oh, balls. Oh, nuts. 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 Shitty, shitty, shitty taco nuts. Motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> my paper towels all the way over there. All right. Well, God damn it. <laughs> uh, oh, this is so yucky. <laughs> if you know me... You know how horrible what's happening right now to me is. I hate food on my hands, and this is fucking honey on my hands. And it's 
sticky, icky, icky. All right, let's just try it. Mm. Oh. Wow, I was not expecting... Oh, hang on, there's a tingle in my throat. Where did this tingle come from? Somewhere inside this jar. I've got to wash my fucking hands. Why didn't I bring my water in here? Oh, this is, oh, that, okay. As terrible as everything that's happening to me in my life right now, at this given moment, not in general, just right now, um, this shit is amazing. This is some of the tastiest shit I've ever had in my entire life. Mm, I'm just going to lick it off of all my fingers and hands. I have a lot of fingers, but I only have two hands. Hey, look at my boots. What do you think of them? Huh? What do you think of those apples? Huh? This is my sexy pose. Hang on. Wait, let me flex a little bit first, though. Yeah. Welcome to the Vodcast Podcast. Anywho, these are these are the new boots I got, and I got little zippers, so I don't have to even, you know, do any of that shit. Which I'm thrilled about. I know you're probably not. You're probably like, I came here to watch some fucking Mike's Hot Honey. And all I'm getting is this guy talking about his fucking shoes. Johnny, I swear to Christ. What camera are we on? I, I'm giving Johnny a second chance. I'm going to... You guys want to meet Johnny? Not this episode. You can meet Johnny soon enough. He's a good man. I apologize. I was terrible to Johnny. But I swear to Christ, if he fucking crosses me again, I'm going to break his fucking neck in three places. And his sisters. Yeah. Don't think I don't know where she lives. Oh, hey, guys. Um, So I've got honey running down me now. i got to get it off of me. It's so good, though. I feel like washing it off of myself, other than giving myself a cat bath. There's no other way to do this. It's too good to waste. It's weird. It tastes like candy at first, and then it it's like a little, almost like, um, you know those fireworks that go off, and they're like, boom, shh. You know the ones I'm talking about. That's what it does in my mouth. It's like a sweet little just treat that comes in there. Like it feels, um, I'm trying to think. There's a clear amber candy that pretty much tastes like sugar. And it kind of has that taste, but it's in, you know, obviously a, a liquid form. And it just moves around in your mouth. It's a little thick. It's got a little bit of thickness to it. And uh, I mean, the heat is still on my tongue, but it's not... It's not so hot that you can't handle it. I would love to have tried that on toast for the first time or I don't know. All right, guys, I got to I, I hate to say it, but I got to go wash my hands. So I hope you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you're loving watching these as much as I'm loving creating them, then please consider smashing that like button. Subscribing, please. We're looking for new subscribers. And, and uh, oh, Roger, Roger DeMello. I want to thank you for subscribing. Welcome aboard the podcast. We're cruising to somewhere special. I just don't know where it is yet. Just enjoy the ride, all right? Um, uh, whew, yeah, his memes are the best. His I, best memes in the world. He's the meme king. All right. If you guys are, well, you, I, went, I went through that bit already. So you guys, don't forget to make somebody smile today and take care of each other out there. I'm Jason Oliveira, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of the Vodcast Podcast. Take care, and boy, howdy. Oh. oh, it's all sticky. <laughs> <laughs>